Disclaimer. This video contains properly censored, but spicy content. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, so the next character we have is Therizinosaurus, which has these extra icons that I don't know what they mean. Also, hello. See you later? <laughs> well, that was a rather peaceable interaction, actually. Hello, welcome you're back. Welcome back. And goodbye again. You ever get the sense of somebody that's like trying to stalk you, but they're also trying to not be obvious about it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I just happened to turn down the street several times. Oh, I just forgot something from my car. Oh, I, I just live around here. <laughs> I guess I gotta do something. Ah, okay then. Nom. I don't know what the symbols mean, honestly. Let's try leaving. This guy is. This boy has long claws. Hmm. All I'm trying to do is do the light blue right, but I can't seem to have any progress doing it. Hmm. What about up and down then? That got me. To, that got him to spit me up. All right, eat me again, bud. I'm trying to figure out your deal. You seem a little bit unique. Oh, I have a. Oh, I'm in his throat now. And his mouth. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look! Look at me try. No. Uh, what mouth? Mouth. Mouth. E. I don't think there's actually any escape, but I'm abused for tried. Come on, one more time. Let me up there. Let me up there. There we go. <laughs> I like that almost, and then grab. Oh, that one icon lit up, the or the red one, which I guess means mouth, which makes me concerned about what the second one means. Uh, well, clearly it means sea cucumber. Dad. Back to the, I wonder if there's some point to, like, lighting up all the icons? Let's try digestion. Oh, that didn't digest us. That brought us back here for some reason. Uh, okay. In the butt. I guess we're fine. Not sure what that was about. Alright. Alright, let's, uh, try going deeper. Actually, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just try breed arrow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, I've now lit up Sea Cucumber Icon. That's good. Not sure what it means, but that's good. There seems to be a wake command I can pull off. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, what about, I guess, just inevitable progress? How about that? He <laughs> seems very surprised about me trying to do that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and I guess that got, uh, seems like a belly icon, the third one. Hmm. The last one's heart, which probably means I need to be friendly to him. Okay, let's just try the uh, let's try the yellow struggles though, which might make him happy, anyways. Oh, we went to his tail. Also, we got them all. We collected all the icons. What does this mean for us? Should I click them or something? That doesn't do anything. Hmm. I ain't sure, really. I ain't particularly sure. One thing I know for sure is I, I need to probably, uh, vamoose. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I have to, I, yeah, I figured, I figured, I figured he could sit on me. Stubs, you can just tell. Alright, let me get back up. And very efficiently at that. <laughs> Restore my HP too. 
Um, hmm. What if he can, like, belly swish me? Like, just if I butter his belly. Or paw. Oh, maybe, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is his blind spot. He can't see because his belly is too fat. So he, and his claws are too long. So he can't, he doesn't know I'm here. This is my secret safe spot. I should try, uh, hug. Belly hug, belly hug, belly hug. <laughs> probably just, like, headbutting his belly. It probably makes him nauseous. I don't know. But yeah, I lit up all the icons. Go for me. I don't really know what that means. Is, I still have no idea. Hey, yep. Nope. Hmm. I guess I'll leave the way I, I usually do, so I can. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. I guess uh, maybe now's the time to. He doesn't seem to respond to friendship. I mean, sitting on people does maybe count as friendship in some situations, but. Oh my god, I just left, dude. <laughs> Somebody's efficient. And dodge roll. Just in case. I'd say his butt end is the more dangerous one. Okay, if I stand directly underneath his bell. Okay, well. I'm playing a dangerous game. I'm playing a dangerous game. I found the, I found the right position to attack. But since he keeps moving, I have to be I have to keep moving too. Or, or I will I will be the butt end of a joke again. Hmm. He has too many health bars though. He's got a red bar, a, a orange bar, a yellow bar, and a green bar. I'm not sure that it'd be worth fighting him honestly. <laughs> so easy to be the butt end of the joke. <laughs> I'm not sure why he looks so shocked. It's like, huh, he's back there. That's shocking. I, it's not like I put him there or something. <laughs> silly, silly. Cause and effect, my friend. Maybe he's too feral to understand that. I don't know. Maybe he may or may not be sentient. It's hard to tell with these creatures. So I could totally get him, but doing what I'm doing right now, but I'm not so sure. This is worth my time or your time. So I don't think I'll fight him. I do wonder what lineup all the icons did. Maybe it's just some sort of like, hey, he's like a little you you solve the things system. I don't know, like a little check check card. Yeah, I think I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done assing around on this. <laughs> Let's go to the next character. Oh no no no, we're leaving. <laughs> See you later, Theron is whatever your name is. All right, now we have Tough Lizard. Hello. Look at how tough that guy looks. Look, he's a real tough lizard. Hello. Is he tough on the inside, though? Hmm. Ooh. Can I press that twice? Oh, I can. I can almost leave. Not quite. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I can. If I, no, I, I don't think I can, but it's, it's amusing to try. Hmm. Let's try all other directions, too. And then we have light blue, which... Tell? Tell. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Hmm. Because he really likes tell massages. I see digestion in my future. This boy has a few different poses. Huh. Despite the fact that that digested me very efficiently, he doesn't actually have a digest animation with this. Take it up. I know as an impact fighter, I cannot reset their AI by punching them. I'm a little disappointed by that. It was actually very helpful. Oh well. Hi. That. Shall we? All right then. <laughs> so I see there's some sort of quick time event. Actually, let me change just here. He has the seats. And the belly is making very bassy sounds. Actually, yeah. 
Tough Lizard End. Yes, it is the end. Let's I refresh him. Hello. Hmm. Lick. I'm allowed to struggle this time. That's interesting. Not that it is probably doesn't do any good, but you know. <laughs> Our character's just like help. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's try to do the quick time event. The yellow arrows, which are constantly moving around. What will that do for us? Oh, uh, he actually sped us up because of that. Uh, see ya. Where's he going? What? <laughs> okay. I guess he needed a running leap. So he needed, he needed a little room, I guess. Well, well, yep. <laughs> he needed the, the correct distance to calculate the trajectory. <laughs> Oh, oh my. We could either be seat or slightly higher than seat. <laughs> this is our choice. But the truth is, we're, we're kind of stuck. <laughs> One way or another, we're kind of stuck. Well, <laughs> nice while it lasted. <laughs> We end it again. Let's see what else we can do with him. If anything else. Well, God damn. we just got out of the situation. Come on, man. <laughs> because he could do that in a much more ordinary way than jumping, I suppose. Wait, actually, the question I have is, does the jump always end in that? Or can he, like, oh, well. I guess it depends on which direction he's facing when he does the leap. <laughs> like, if he's facing this way, I assume it's going to be, like, some four attack. Oh, just a grab. Oh, that's how he grabbed me that one time. I see. Oh, this tough lizard is pretty tough, but I think we I think we saw his, all his basic options. Now we just need to be... Now we have to try to get a friendship fatality. Let's see. Oh, well. well. Unfortunately, he, he, he tried to grab me before I could do any real interaction. He's so efficient. He's like, all right, time to pick him up, time to eat him. Yeah, I, I think I gotta bait out his attack and then. No, <laughs> I have such small arms. I have such little arms and no reach. I'm. S give me a bed to actually. Oh well, okay. <laughs> when I said I wanted hugs, I didn't mean this way. Damn it! Your reach is so much. Damn you, tough lizard with your properly built arms, that can actually reach slightly further than one inch. <laughs> I need to like. Uh, I did get the heart across. Oh, I don't. Th I think Tough Lizard cannot be. Oh, can I even defeat him? Given the problem I'm having, I don't think I can. He's he's f much. He has more reach and he's faster than me. I don't think I can. <laughs> and trying a back attack is not going to succeed. <laughs> All right, I guess Tough Lizard is too tough for me. I ain't no Tough Lizard. I'm just a kobold. So I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to move on. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? We got Ice Stare, the Cold Guardian. Wait, Snare. I think that means... Ah, yes, it's another It's another one of these guys. It's the third one. We saw two others in Barb Fighter. We have this weird race here. This one's an Ice Element. Sorry. They're weird. I don't know what they exactly are, but they seem slightly amorphous since they can just kind of shove you into their belly directly. Which is interesting. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this one, uh, it removes you via crystal. It's very, very odd, very odd thing to do. So if I struggle, can I leave? Oh, I can. Look at that. I'm surprised you're strong enough to do that. Ooh, ooh, that's cold. Look, if you wanted me to chill out, you could have told me it with less literal terms. <laughs> now we're in his mouth. For a moment, anyways. Let's try Jay's Let's see what that does. I think he took a nap. Fair enough. 
I heard eating a cobble is kind of like having a Thanksgiving turkey. It makes you very tired afterwards. Let's see, what happens if I just hold the green button down here? Just chewing, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get out of him. He probably has something else he does. I think there's at least a third move of some sort. Besides tongue and arms. Pretty sure. Ah. Try to avoid tongue at this point. Oh, yeah, there's ice. Does that do anything? Oh, well. Well, I'll never find out if I can't dodge stuff. Nope. Oh. At least I can get away from this. Oh, I can be frozen. Am I like a popsicle now? I'm fine? I'm not, well, um... I'm gonna just call that a Morphous Vorb because that's what he did with his belly. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's something that needs censoring. That being said, I'd like to do that again because I think there was another, uh, another, another option, another action that could have been done there. Let's, uh, let's see if we can convince him to not grab me and actually ice me again. Because I realized I kind of broke out of the ice, but then my head was still frozen. I talk about a brain freeze, huh? <laughs> but if I just hang out and let him lick me, what happened? What happened then? Hmm. Oh. Slightly different munchies. Interesting. He's bouncing our popsicle form around. <laughs> and if we wait, I suppose, or if I just move, then we get swallowed. And I guess that just brings us back to the typical four. Yep. I, you made me leave the map. Thank you. <laughs> Out of bound secrets. <laughs> um, does he accept hugs? I mean... Yeah, but his idea of hugs is still voracious, <laughs> so... Oh, well, I guess we're gonna be here anyways. Oh, well, didn't realize I was so close to digestion mode. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, wow, I could stun lock him. Uh... I... What the heck? He has become an ice like like from Zelda. What what the heck happened? I am not even sure what just happened. I... Legitimately... Did I like this... Did I do some... Did I like this break enough of... Did I like break his upper body apart or something? And he's made of ice and now it's just this wobbly lower portion now? I don't know what I did, but uh... I didn't know I didn't know you could do this, I'll say that much. I'm sort of perplexed, honestly, at this point. Yeah, it's basically a like like. So what if I digest it then? Well, I guess I will at this rate. I am so confused right now. It's like I destroyed part of him, but he's fine because he's like a construct rather than a normal living creature. So he's like, well, I have less of me now, but that's fine. <laughs> Will he do that again if I do this? Let's see. 
Or is that just a random glitch? There's only one way to find out. Do a bunch of damage. Back off and see what that does to them. I have no idea what we triggered with that. It felt like some sort of weird Easter egg. He's not doing it this time. Look, I've done so much damage and he doesn't seem to care. This doesn't seem to be attacking me. Did, did I weaken you too much to fight? I will buy. Or not? Hugs? Man, he is broken, guys. I guess that's ice there. <laughs> Let's see what we got next. We're almost done. Now we got Drazali, anti nightmare drowsy. Yay! Oh, that's cool. I like her design. Um, let's see. So she has crystal ball, and there's options clearly. Uh, let's do spy. Let's do hugs. Yeah, hugs. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, you want in? Okay, hop. We just hop in. Gosh, I love Friendly Vore. Friendly Vore is good. Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's wait and see what happens. Look, even for the fortune tellers eat a good, you know, good lunch, too. Alright, we're out. Do, 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 do. I'm back. Uh, let's do this one. Stout. Oh. Taper stout. Four. I mean, that works. The ele elephantine like snout that papers have is kind of interesting. We got, let's just do the neutral one to the right. Something about dark. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yay! We had uh, our evil dark Lynx self was uh, was removed from our dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Dream Taper. And tonight we're drowsy. Honestly, drowsies and such could be really good for therapy, like dream therapy. Oh, we can even belly rub. So another one that's just like, this character is wholesome. I like this character. Goodbye. Unfortunately, that that getting rid of our evil version, I, I think this bottom option involves being the evil version. So I have a bad feeling about this one. Oh, don't do that. That's a crystal ball. Oh, wow. We are we are a little dick now. What the hell? <laughs> ah. Teleport for. Oh, and the orb shows us. That's... I like that. That's actually pretty clever. Oh, wow. She's not playing around. She's uh, straight up digesting us now. Though if I wait long enough, maybe I could survive the... Di well, I guess it's digestion either way. Yep. Well, we did deserve that. Crystal balls are expensive, and we just destroyed them. It's like, you know, that's not cool. Oh. Actually, just see if I can, like, cause destruction. The answer is no. This is a good, pretty good character, though. Can I get to oh, I can attack her. Though, to get behind the table like that is tricky. Let's try resetting her. See if I can't get behind the table. So she's probably facing me. Uh, if I get behind like this way, will she still be facing me if I go the long way? Because basically, if, I've never made this obvious with uh, other 
bar fighter uh, monsters. But if I go the opposite direction of the arrow, eventually you loop around. But I can't remember how big the arena actually is before the loop happens. So the arrow still points to the left, I feel like this actually might be too big <laughs> to do what I was doing. All right, never mind. Instead, nope, I didn't mean to hop up, but what I need to do is get close to the table and then do an iframe roll like this. Uh, almost, almost. A little closer. I'm going to get behind and give her a hug. Oh, that's too close. All right. I think I know the proper distance now. Damn. Okay, it looks like the only way I'm doing it is illegitimately, so... Hugs! Oh, that's interesting. <coughs> I keep... I keep teleporting. All right, let's... let's beat her up. That seems mean, but... Well... I bet there's no actual death animation for her, because I don't think you're normally even supposed to be able to touch her, given that you have a cutscene at the table in front of her. Oh, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Disappear! <laughs> Alright. So lastly, we have Tesla version 1.50 Gura 2. By Gura 2, I assume. Alright, let's see what Tesla's about. Hi. I said that you sent lightning down. Huh. Okay, what's that do? You have very little health, by the way. Hmm. hmm. Oh, that stunned me. It's like a flash bomb, but I had to be in the right place for it to actually stun me. Guess he likes his prey uh, stunned. Yeah, I'm going for light blue. No? Not an option. Doesn't actually let me out. And light and green. It's a different kind of smush against roof of mouth action. And then down we go. This character kind of feels a little washed out, you know? Kind of interesting. Here, I'll just gurgle. Fade to white. I know Pam manages to get out of a lot of situations by just fade. <laughs> the, the value of being a cartoon character, I guess. A cartoon kobold. What's funny is he approaches me too close before he does that attack. I have to actually back up a bit. Oh, yeah, see, it, it actually doesn't just... It's not just a flash grenade. I'm getting zapped on the head. Ow. Oh. Down is fine. Aside from digestion, what else can we do, then? Well, we can go deeper. And out we go. Honestly, a pretty short route, all said. Is there anything else he does? Is that, is that all he does? Just the lightning and the noms and the exit and the gurgles? Yeah, he literally stands too close to actually hit me. He's, he's, he's got him within his minimum range by staying next to me like this. Which means I have the advantage. Puck's time. No, oh, he likes that and popped down to actually get me directly. Cute. I assume the rest of this is the same as before, though. <laughs> it's like, you climb it out? No, no, no. End of tongue pushes back. <laughs> okay, well, we saw what hugs did. Let's reset him one more time. And instead of hugs, I'm going to do sword. I'm sorry, I'm making him cry. I feel bad now. But again, he's striking me with lightning, so... Aww. <laughs> well, he's, he's defeated. And that was the last creature.
So I'm going to end it here. Uh, that was Pan Fighter and honestly pretty entertaining. Uh, obviously, I'll have to, you'll you'll probably see some cuts, a sets rate and all that. But honestly, it was a lot of fun to check this out. I hope, hopefully I could show a fair bit of what I saw, uh, aside from the censored bit, bits. But uh, I know a few scenes I'll have to cut entirely. That's all right, though. Not too many. So don't worry too much. You're not missing out too much. Uh, a lot of this was really cute, honestly. So uh, I think I like Panfire a little bit better than Barbfire, actually. Though that doesn't mean that Panfire is the best Barbfire-like game. I actually think there's some better ones. Well, if, even if they're a little less developed. Uh, you'll see those in video form uh, later, too. Probably after this one, if I remember the chronological order I should be releasing stuff in. We'll see if I actually remember. <laughs> but that was Panfighter, and honestly, pretty dang fun. And just, I don't know, just having a cute little chibi uh, cartoon kobold as as the main character. It just kind of works better. We're just being a small boy like this makes us more palatable for predators. This is good. I like this a lot.